So today I want to make a quick video about the HC SR501 PIR sensor. A lot of people use this sensor in their projects because it's cheap. However, many people have issues with the sensor recording a lot of false positives and being very unstable. Sometimes these issues are blamed on RFI, for example having the ESP8266 chip too close to the sensor. In fact, just sitting here right now, you can see that my sensor is detecting a lot of movement. The M in the top right corner of my OLED display is constantly turning on and off. But I have the sensor wired correctly using 5 volts from the Node MCU into the three terminals here on the PIR sensor. I definitely have my hands out of the field of view of the sensor. I'm not moving and you can still see the motion sensor sending out random signals to my Node MCU. So in my search online I found a possible fix for this issue and I'd like to show it to you using the schematic of the sensor. So the three pin connector on the sensor basically takes a five volt input, a signal output, and the ground connection. The five volt input goes through diode D1 and it goes into the 3.3 volt voltage regulator. So the 3.3 volt rail here is also used for this jumper terminal here, JP1, and that is the yellow jumper here in the top right corner of the PCB. That jumper selects between a single trigger or a multiple trigger. In most of the applications for this PIR sensor, a single trigger is enough. We do most of the processing in the node MCU itself. So for single trigger operation, this pin right here is driven to ground. That means that this jumper is connecting terminals one and two together, and terminal three is open. That terminal three is connected to a 3.3 volt rail of the voltage regulator here, and we can use it to feed 3.3 volts directly from the node MCU instead of feeding five volts. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my node MCU, take it off my breakout board, and on my breakout board, I have a jumper that selects whether I provide 5 volts or 3.3 volts out to the sensor. So instead of providing 5 volts, I'm going to set it for a 3.3 volt output. And then on the sensor itself, this pin right here, this open pin right here, is pin 3 in our schematic. So I'm going to take this voltage supply line and I'm going to move it over to this open terminal. So now I have 3.3 volts coming out of my Node MCU breakout board and feeding the 3.3 volt line directly. I still left the output line and the ground line connected to the regular motion sensor connector. So I'm put the Node MCU back on, plug it in, and you will notice I've got my hands very near the sensor in the same place I had before. However, the sensor will only pick up movement when I'm actually in the field of view movement, no movement. So in my application I found this to be a bit more stable and less susceptible to RFI. I still try to keep my node MCU as far away from the PIR sensor as possible by using longer wiring and I also set my sensitivity to the lowest setting. Now I'm not saying this will fix all of your issues but it certainly seems to be working better for me. So. If you have any other ideas or better sensors to use than this one, go ahead and leave me a comment below. And if you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.